We had a break last week. We're back with another episode of Gundam. I think we left off at a cliffhanger where people were getting invaded, like from the assassins from Earth. Let's see what happens in today's episode. Is that Suleta cleaning the rooftop? <laughs> it is. You know, Suleta and Miorina did not leave off at a good point last episode, huh? Not looking, not looking too good. Their relationship is uh getting a little bit bitter. Miorina is neglecting Suleta. Miorina is kind of turning into Delling a little bit, huh? I'm getting a little bit worried, but I'm sure everything will be fine. Is Lita hiding? Yeah, she is hiding! Oh no, things are... Uh-oh, we can't even like, we can't even confront her. Whoa. Those... Huh, helps she like, uh, move in zero gravity. That's pretty cool tool. You're fucking up because you're worried so much. <laughs> She's a mess right now, huh? What is Lady Prospera thinking? Delling and Lady Prospera. They obviously have some huge history, but like, did something happen after? Uh, Primer score level 6. I don't think... Because like the previous... <laughs> you pulling out something? Careful, careful. But uh, premise score level 6, that's beyond any number. The premise score that we've seen from uh, Eran before. Well, it's not actually Eran, but the uh, advanced human. Still his project. Still his project. Hmm? Oh no, that's right. Guel ship got uh, raided. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, poor Gwell, man. He's just he's just out here trying to pay his bills. Oh, this is so bad. But maybe this is the path towards redemption somehow. Same with the food. If it's oh, careful. That was kind of. Hmm. She's still being very awkward and off. Way too anxious. Way too anxious. Is Mirine gonna eat with us? Probably not, huh? You want to come with? Mm, nah, I don't think she can right now. I don't think she can right now, man. Is this tension ever going to get relieved? They got to talk, man. They got to talk. Huh? Nothing for her? The f hey. Uh. Hey, we're just out of it. Not even have a lunchbox anywhere. Can't even take talk to her friends well. Like, no. Poor girl! Is she just eating lunch by herself in the bathroom? Uh, oh, this is just unlucky. Unlucky. Because mm. he is after Gwell's dad is definitely after Delling's throat. And Delling obviously knows. But it's all optics and politics. Mm. Look, look at that sinister smile on his face. Does Delin truly trust him? I doubt it. He's uh, <laughs> he's in quite the situation right now. Oh, oh, a little, a little bit of. Okay, <laughs> okay, it, it not being professional. <laughs> Yo, it was all it was all going like yes, Mr. Delling, I'll cooperate. It's fine. like all all I all we want. And then he's like, you piece of shit! I've always hated you. Oh, you tell me that was an act? Really? Oh. Oh, that wasn't that. Okay, okay, okay. I thought that that just kind of popped a fuse, but no, that was all an act. Also, put something on him—a tracking device. It's kind of weird that he's saying that because he would never give his biological son Gwell that kind of love. But also, Shattuck's like an orphan, you know? Hmm? What is she always watching? It's like videotapes of... Is that Suleta? Yeah, it is the aerial battle. We're definitely gonna fight, huh? It can fly. It can dance! <laughs> that... <laughs> They're definitely gonna meet. Oh no. She didn't even hear a lunch. And now it's just even on worse terms. Like, she's just getting pissed off. Hmm. Hmm. Lady Prospect. That look. I'm like. 
There's something so sinister about it, you know? She's definitely using Solita. Solita has no idea. What's her big grand plan? I think this is very relatable, though. You definitely get in your own head. Start, like, overthinking. And then you come into, like, jump into conclusions. And then you don't, and then you think that you're useless and everybody hates you. It's... This is all Mutiny's fault. No, this is all Eran's fault. No. She's a strong girl, though. She, relax, relax. Mutiny? Yep. Oh, oh, God. Oh, hello. She looks even more pissed. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> she heard everything. Okay, huh? Are you okay? Oh, that... Oh. That's just a joke, right? It's just... Okay, okay, okay. I'm like, it's not a serious injury. Run. I think we need to talk it out, but this is a... I... Mm, it's hard to. You're so scary. Here we go. It was a trap. Call, call the ambulance, but not for me. This is where Mionine reassures our main character so that you can push yourself. This is good though, we're talking. Oh. Pick, ah! oh. I thought we get a slap, but that was more of a bonk in the head. This is the most tsundere way of saying, look at me, don't I look happy? Oh, here it is! Here's the hug. Okay, good. Good. Because the last episode, I was like, people are saying too, like, Mewden really does seem like a telling a bit, huh? Being very cold towards her partner. But no, 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 she's different. She's different. It was just a bad encounter with Eran and then jumping to conclusions when we couldn't give a keychain to her. Oh, this is what we needed. All right, the Yuri magic is back. We're back on board. Oh, forever. Oh. Oh. This is a really good pair. <laughs> Can give the tomato for a combo. <laughs> okay, okay, your tomato garden. Okay, that, that sounds like maid duties now. Three times a day? Jesus, she's needy. Maybe? Oh, she's so... She's so embarrassed, but like... You hardly ever get to see Sundere characters like this truly tell like what they're feeling. That's why it hits so different, because they would never show that weakness, that vulnerability. Okay, we're back! The magic is back! Those are the two big hitters, huh? Huh. That's their full name? And their machines, maybe? Ooh, these two. You can tell that they're important, because look at the main design of their face. It actually looks like Gundam, right? <laughs> That's how you can tell, like, how important the mobile suit is based on the design. The keychain... <gasps> we gave it to her! We gave the keychain to her, but... Why is she smiling? Okay, no more happiness. We're getting invaded. If luck is the show survives, this dude... I'm sure she'll be fine. Unless... There's a really tragic death of Mutiny and not Delling. I mean, I can kind of see it happening because we just, you know, made it back with Mutiny and Soleta. I don't want it. That would be crazy if they actually kill Mutiny off. I have a feeling a cliffhanger is about to happen though. It's, it's, we're pretty deep into the episode. Yeah, I think a cliffhanger is about to happen before the really hype shit happens. Oh boy. Here we go! So, if they cut that off... I'm kind of confused about what they're doing. But they're carving... I would imagine specific points... To isolate Delling. Would Delling die this easily? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Delling is still like... A couple steps ahead of everybody. Maybe he's anticipating this. Can he drive a mobile suit? Can he really like pilot one though? Oh, Mjolnir, no! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh no, we're actually separated. If luck is with her, she'll survive. That's what Shadik said. But I can't help but feel that there's some kind of death flags because we had such a wholesome scene between Mjolnir and Soleta. Oh, they meet. Is this Sophie? 
Yeah, and look at the face. It's an actual mobile suit. That's her. Yes. But then you can't kill her right now, and then you gotta actually, you know, fight her in her aerial. Can she hear this? Probably not, right? A witch from Earth? And that's the episode, I guess, a cliffhanger just when the action's about to hit. The word witch hasn't really been explicitly explained to us, but I'm assuming it has to do with the Gundam. I thought it would be somebody that can create one, but no, it's actually a pilot. Oh, I'm not exactly sure. But we have the witch from Mercury and the witch of Earth that's going to be fighting next for episode. And I just hope that, so, like, Miodin doesn't die. There's, that's not a death flight, right? Something about how we have so much wholesome scenes this episode after we had a little bit of falling out. It just kind of signals to me that something might happen, but maybe this is just to get her stakes up and be scared for Miodin. Delling, to be honest, I think he's, like, five steps ahead of everybody, so I think he'll be fine. But hey, if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction, consider subscribing and checking out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care, guys.